Uh, hey guys, it's V from the main phase. Today I'm bringing you a budget Crusadia deck profile. Now Crusadia is one of the uh, cheapest decks you can build for free in Mastodon that can actually stand a chance against other decks. And today I'm showcasing a deck that uh, pushes the limit of that budget. Uh, by only running 5 super rares and then 1 ultra rare. And the 1 ultra rare isn't even mandatory, so let's take a look. Alright, so this is the deck. Uh, it, the other ultra rares in it are from the uh, from the solo mode and the bundles, so you can probably get those quite easily unless you don't want to get those. Uh, so let's just go through the card by card. So first we've got Ash Blossom, which is just a good hand trap. Then we've got Crusade, Crusadia Reclusia at 2. Now this card is probably the worst Crusadia in an OTK build. It does let you destroy an opponent's card, but, the, but most of the cards you'd want to destroy, such as Skill Drain or just an opponent's monster, you'd rather have on the field so you can take advantage of them with other effects. Uh, in a more trap oriented build, you'd run this at 3 and Leonis at 2, but definitely in a more OTK oriented draw, I believe this is the one that you'd run it to. Then you've got 3 uh, Arborea. Arborea is one of, is probably the most powerful Crusadia, other than maybe Draco. Uh, it just basically just lets you uh, protect your all your Crusadias. Uh, just by banishing it from your graveyard. And this enables a lot of things, such as using Magius to pop uh, one of your own cards, which then wouldn't be popped because if you protect with Arborea. Uh, but Arborea is just generally a really good card. It's also a tuner, which enables Hulk combos and just general synchro plays, which is quite powerful. Uh, then we've got free Crusadia Leonis. Uh, this is the second worst Crusadia, just above Magius. It lets you, if you... Uh, target Crusadia Link Monster, you can give it the ability to do piercing, which while it's not great, it's better than Reclusia in certain situations, because you can just sort of make it so that your opponent's monster can't... Uh, if they've got like a defense position monster that's uh, like, for example, most notably on the ladder you might encounter uh, Crooked Cook with, with like right hand shark, which means it can't be destroyed without all. Leonis can break that matchup and just let you win the game by that way, while other decks would just need a Kaiju to get over that. Uh, then we've got the best Crusadia, arguably, uh, Crusadia Draco. This one, uh, when you summon it, it adds another Crusadia from your graveyard to your hand, and this is the one that makes your two-card Cru Crusadia combos work and let you make the uh, Equimax plus another Crusadia to have a negate if you're going first or to o try an OTK, depending on what cards you've got. Uh, this one is level 4 also, which means that it can be used to make Dagaras, which is probably the best Xyz monster for the deck, and means that you can OTK even if your opponent does have a monster. Uh, then we've probably got the most middling uh, Crusadia, Crusadia Maximus. This is probably the one that's most uh, orientated to its OTK, uh, OTK playstyle. Uh, it's got the most general attack at 1600, and on top of that, it's a uh, its effect is to double the battle damage taken by one battle with your opponent. Uh, with an opponent's monster. Uh, this is why sometimes you want to use something like Dagaris, otherwise you won't be able to deal the right amount of damage. Uh, it's also important to note that this prevents your other monsters from attacking, so don't use it accidentally on something like a Equimax if you're then going to go into an Avramax, because then your Avramax will prevent it from attacking. Uh, then we've got free 10 year spirit of Vishuda. This is one of your extenders. It's good because it can be extended before you summon a monster, which then means that if your opponent negates your normal summon, you still have this available. Uh, this is really good going second because you can summon it from your hand for free. Then you can either use it for a Regulax if you want to go straight into Crusadia place, or you can use it for the 10 year monk, uh, which then lets you banish the Vishuda from your graveyard to then. Uh, uh, to then bounce one of your opponent's cards, which can clear the way for an OTK. This is also not affected by skill drain, which is important because it's uh, a graveyard effect, which means that you, uh, which is one of the important things to say the Eldritch matchup, for example. Uh, you've got uh, we've got seven Kaiju's, we've got uh, three Gadala and two Thunder King and two Jizzy Kuru, uh, but these don't really uh, the ca specific Kaiju's that you run. Don't matter, except you definitely want to run free Gadala. Uh, this is because this deck uh, doesn't have an easy time dealing with the Wind Barrier statue that summoned off the Samorg Bird of Ancestry. That's not what it's called. Uh, the Samorg Link. Uh, and Gadala can tribute off the Barrier statue because it's, itself is a Wind Monster, which then means that you can uh, continue with your plays without uh, being like 
restricted by the barrier statue. Uh, all three uh, kaijus are really good in this deck because you can summon them to the zone that your Crusadia Link Monster points to. That'll be one of the two zones, uh, like above the extra monster zones on your side of the field. And uh, these are uh, that's really good because then you can give the boost of the the kaiju stats to Equimax or to Leona uh, or to Regulax. And that's really good because the uh, it means that you don't actually care what kaijus you're running. In some decks, you really want to run Gamma Seal because of the uh, because it's got lower stats. But in this deck, you don't, you actually can just afford to run stuff like Thunder King or Juz or Jizukiru, uh, because it doesn't actually matter what stats the kaiju has. Uh, last off for the monsters, we have uh, three copies of Parallel Exceed. Uh, this monster is really good. Uh, it j acts as like an extender j uh, some of the time, where you can just special summon it from your hand and then add another one, and uh, no, and then special summon another one from your deck, which can let you make some exceed some place but if you already have two crusaders you can use the parallel xc to make dugaras the timeless and this lets you uh double the attack of your crusader equimax which then means that you don't have to deal with the whole if your opponent doesn't have a monster then you just can't otk this lets you otk for, uh despite that which is re uh, really good and parallel xc enables that then for the spells, we've got uh, one copy of Raigeki. It's just a g really good generic spell that destroys all your opponent's monsters. You can be kit, you can be kit wonky about this, but if you can make Dagaris, this is completely fine. And there are certain things that you can't really remove, uh, unless you have a Kaiju, of course, but you might not always have a Kaiju, and this is just a really useful spell to have in certain situations. We've got one Monster Reborn. This acts as like an extender or an extra Crusadia. Uh, in certain situations, which means that, uh, which then means that you can just sort of keep going while otherwise in other hands you have a uh, more difficulty doing that for example if you have one crusadia and monster reborn uh you can uh normal summon a crusadia uh make magis and activate monster reborn revive that crusadia to the zone ma uh magis points to then uh, use magis effect to search draco and just do your normal crusadia combo from there that wouldn't be a full crusadia board but it would be more than if you didn't have the monster reborn. Uh, we've got reinforcements of the army. This searches Arborea or... No, no, this searches just Arborea. And Arbor Arborea is one of the better Crusaders. So it's just a good card, generically. Uh, Lightning Storm. This is broken. Uh, this is one of the cards that I'd recommend upgrading to free. If you have the uh, crafting dust to do so. Uh, it just means that you can destroy all your opponent's spell and traps. Which is really good against Eldlich and other decks like that. That focus around trap cards. Because otherwise they might be able to stop down your plays. Unless you have someone like a Vishuda. Uh, spell and trap removal is one of the best things you can run in this deck. And this is one of the best options you get. You get one from the bundle. So even if you don't want... Even if you don't want to craft multiple, just using the one from the bundle is a really good idea. Uh, then we've got one Crusader Revival. Uh, this is the field spell for the deck. This is generally what you'd be searching if you're going for a going second OTK. Uh, uh, basically what this does is it boosts the attack of all your Crusaders by 500 and then lets one of your Crusaders... Uh, well, all your Crusader Link Monsters by 500 and then it lets one of your Crusaders attack all your opponent's monsters uh once each but it only lets that monster attack and this is really useful because it means that if your opponent has a big board but you can't get rid of you can't really otk through one monster this means that you can otk uh through the means of attacking all your opponent's monsters it also just gives a generic attack boost which can be important in certain situations uh we've got two mystical space typhoon this just destroys the spell trap on the field i would recommend if you have the budget to upgrade this into cosmic cyclones uh, which then can deal more damage to uh, Eldritch specifically. Or if you have Twin Twisters, run that too. That's also better. But uh, in this build, uh, Mystical Space Typhoon does the job. And it can deal with stuff like Skill Drain if you don't have another out to it like the shooter. Uh, we've got three copies of Forbidden Chalice. This is amazing. Uh, it either can boost one of your uh, monsters just to get over a little bit. But more importantly, it can act as a negate to your opponent's monsters, which can be really powerful if your opponent has something that you can't really deal with. And it just sort of phases it out. It just makes it no longer a threat, which is really useful. Uh, one thing important to know about uh, Forbidden Chalice is that you don't play it on an Equimax, because then it would lose the attack that it gains from its own effect, because its effects are now negated. Uh, Crusadia Power. This is probably one of the best spells in the deck. This just lets you make a Crusadia unaffected by its uh, card effects. This is really good going first or going second. If you're going second, it can just be used to phase out from, say, a trap that just annoys you. Like, I don't know. 
skill brain probably uh, but if you're going second, this is. Uh, I mean, if you know, if you're going first, then this is really good with uh, with Avramax as one of your, uh, as your general going first end ball to mean that you can't your opponent can't really deal with it, so you can try and OTK on the next turn. And then finally, we've got one uh, Crusadia Testament. This is actually probably a bit more of the wonkiest choice in the deck. Uh, I think this is really good if you can go in second, but you can't actually OTK because it means that you can draw a bunch of cards and then maybe kaiju some of your opponent's other stuff, or just generally like try to get rid of like some one of your opponent's things uh importantly though uh this also is good if you just open it because it can make it so your opponent can't really ash for some stuff like your magius for example or your regulex uh now after the main deck let's go on to the extra deck for for the extra deck, first we just got a couple of generic uh rare exes monsters i'd swap these out if you have something better like baguska or abyss dweller or tornado dragon uh, but these two uh, are decent. I think that uh, Diamond Crab King's probably uh, the better of the two. It just becomes a 3,000 tap beater, which if you've not used Maximus or uh, Revival's effect on a uh, the Link monsters, then it means that it can just be an extra attacker, which can be useful uh, if you need to finish off a game. And then uh, Black Ship of Corn is just decent removal. Uh, then we've got Duggeress of du uh, the Timeless. This is a card that I went over earlier. It's just a very good monster because it can double the attack of one of your monsters until the end phase. And that means that you can just deal with one of your opponent's biggest threats by just like making... Even No, not even that. You can just OTK going uh, if your opponent has no monsters. Which is just really powerful. And it means that even if they just like pass and then go max C, you can still OTK them because if you can make the Duggeress then you can just be like... Okay, I'm just going to make Duggeress and then double monsters attack and now it's 8,000 and I'm going to swing it. And it's just a really powerful card in general. Uh, yeah, the uh, the other effects don't really matter that much. And then we've got two Crusadia Magius. This card is really strong as well. Uh, basically, it's just the starter of your Crusadia combos. Generally, you'll be searching Draco of it if you're just doing the generic two Crusadias. But you can also search stuff like uh, Arborea or Maximus if you need those cards in specific situations or even Leonis. Or the... Or even Reclusia. Just just generally you want to search something that you need uh, for that specific situation. Or generally, if not, you can do the basic two, two Crusadia combo where you normal summon one, uh, make Magia, summon the other, then add Draco, summon Regulax, and summon the thing. Uh, summon, add back the one you normal summon as opposed to summon it. It's quite... Uh, then we've got two Monk of the Ten. This is just to go along with Vishudo. It's just a... Uh, if you have a shooter, it can let you bounce the cards your opponent controls, which like yeah, against skill drain, other powerful monsters that can't be destroyed by destroyed by card effects. And then we got free Crusadia Regulax is probably honestly, I think this is probably the most powerful expert monster in the deck, other than maybe like Equimax, I guess. It's just really good. It just takes any, uh, it just takes a Crusadia and uh, no two effect monsters, including a Crusadia. Uh, it gains attack equal to the power. Uh, all the all right. One thing to know: all the Crusadia Link monsters except uh, Avramax gain attack equal to the attack of the monsters they point to, the original attack. And this makes them. This is what makes them powerful with Kaiju's. But yeah, uh, it has the Crusadia effect, and then also if a monster is special to a zone it points to, it can search a Crusadia spell or trap. So this can be your revival or your power or even your testament in certain situations, which is quite powerful. Uh, you've got uh, one Crusadia Spaffer. Spaffer. This is useful in specific combos, which I won't dive into here. But generally, it's just a decent monster. It's not great, but in some situations, you'll want it over other ones. So that's why we're on the one copy. Uh, we've got the one Cross Sheep. This is useful in certain situations where you want to uh, utilize Vishuda because it means that you can make uh, you can make a a monster with a monk and a, a crusadia instead of uh because you can't make regulax with monk because it's a uh, monk is a non-effect monster which kind of it's important in very certain situations very specific situations we've got two crusadia equimax uh, this is the boss monster of the deck the main boss monster of the deck it takes two effect monsters including a link and it's really good because not only does it gain the attack of all the monsters it points to but it's uh, just in the gate and that's really powerful because say so your opponent activates like oh no a Raigeki or a Skill Drain, you can uh, chain this in response and just tribute some of it points to to negate that effect for the turn. Uh, it can negate spells and traps, that's important to note, if it targets them while they're on the field. 
Uh, generally, Equimax just gains a lot of attack very quickly because you can put a bunch of stuff that points to it. Or you can use, say, something like a Kaiju and tribute something and then put it to the zone that Equimax will point to, which then means that you can gain, like, 3,300 attack, for example. And then you've also got monster to attack over just for free. Uh, and then lastly, we've got the Wong Presidio Avramax. This is completely optional. I do believe that the deck's really good if you want one powerful, at least one powerful Link 4 monster. That can be Avramax, that can be Access Code, uh, that could be Bottle Sword. Uh, uh, Avramax is the best one, in my opinion, uh, in a pure Crusadia build or a Crusadia build like this, technically Crusadia Kaiju. Uh, because it not only gives you a better play going first, while something like Access Code is mostly useful going second, uh, but it also uh, synergizes with something like Crusadia or Revival quite well, because it means that uh, your uh, your Avramax can attack all your opponent's monsters, and since its effect uh, to gain attack equal to the attack of the monster it battles isn't once per turn, it's only once per battle, it means that you can uh, gain the attack and attack everything, which is quite powerful. You can also, uh, if it's destroyed, no, if it's sent to the graveyard, it can just shuffle something on the field into deck, which if you've got something really annoying that's uh, like, well, technically Dragoon protection, but Dragoon isn't legal, that this can deal with that even. Uh, generally, I think Avramax is probably pretty good. It's also really useful going first because you can set it up with a Crusadia power to make it unaffected by your opponent's card effect. So even though it can't be targeted, now, they can't attack into it because it'll just use its effect, and they can't, uh, it's only, they can't deal with it like a Lightning Storm or Raigeki. And then that means that you can survive a turn, so then you can OTK on turn 3, which while you want to go second in this deck, generally, uh, Avramax lets you go, uh, lets you go first if you have that ability. If you need to, if you know what I mean. Uh, so thanks for watching my deck profile for Crusaders. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you can uh, click the like button, or if you feel it, or if you're feeling extra generous, you can subscribe. Uh, to the left of me, there should be a video that's recommended to you by YouTube, and I uh, and that's all for today. Bye.